Hey, what's up you guys? Really quick before this video starts, I just wanna let you know that there is a brand new video on the Psychic Twins channel that I am in, and they predicted a bunch of things that are gonna happen to celebrities this year, and they predicted some shit about Fifth Harmony, Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez, shit that blew my mind. So go check it out, I'll put the link right down there, and enjoy the rest of the video. It's finally happening! Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, today I'm going to be making a giant red velvet milkshake. All right, let's get started. I have so many red velvet treats, I don't know where to start. Okay, we'll start with the base. Now listen, they didn't have a red velvet ice cream, which is crazy because why? Like they have every other kind of ice cream. Why wouldn't they have red velvet? That's like the most popular flavor. They have birthday cake and she's obviously the side bitch. Like red velvet is Beyonce and birthday cake is Rihanna. Like both good, but like lemonade, anti. I'm just kidding, I didn't listen to either of those. I was just trying to appeal to a different audience. How are all my hip hop fans doing? Loving Drake's new album? What happened to Little Kim's new face? I don't know. All right, I tried that. I'm gonna go back to the Hillary Duff references. All right, this is called Boom Chocolate Cookie Core. Now I feel like this works because Red Velvet is technically chocolate, but they painted it red. Just like Little Kim is technically black, but she's painting herself white. Seriously, did you see the picture? It's crazy. Who is she? Honestly, it might be Hillary Duff. All right, here we go. I'm just going to scoop all of that in there. Oh my God. Oh, like me out of my spanks after a night out. I'm just kidding, I don't respect. Now you know I had to get the red velvet Oreos. You know I had to do it. And you know I had to eat like half of them before I made the video. I'm not gonna lie and say like, oh, my friend came over and ate these with me. No, that was me. That was me and Wendy Williams. I was sitting on the couch watching her while I was eating these and she was like, how are you doing? And I was like, I'm doing pretty good, Wendy. I'm doing pretty good. All right, so let's just throw a couple in there. Now we can't have a red velvet milkshake without some red velvet cake. Now this is the best that Ralph's has to offer. And also the most depressing because they literally sell two pieces of cake. Like not a whole cake, like two pieces of cake. And I guess their point is like, oh, like for a couple who like wants a piece of cake for dinner together and like they don't want a whole cake. Yeah, that does not happen. This is obviously for one sad person who's gonna be like, mm, Monday, Tuesday. And then what's gonna happen is Monday, Monday. <laughs> Like Monday night and Monday night 30 minutes later. So let's just pop our Monday in there and uh, we'll leave this for Monday in five minutes after I'm done making the video. Now I could not do a giant milkshake video without bringing back the queen. She always makes an appearance. She always kills it. She is the Shakira of snack foods. Like we all trust her. Sometimes we don't love what she's serving. Like for every hips don't lie, there's like that weird song about soccer that I don't get. But like sometimes she hits with that she wolf and she fucks me up. It's a Pop-Tart. Now today we are getting some She-Wolf realness because it is red velvet Pop-Tarts. Now I would say the soccer song would be like anything with jam. Just not into it. But red velvet, ooh, my hips don't lie. They don't, they're very big because of these. Oh, God, they smell so good. Oh my God. Oh, and look at the way they, oh, this one is real wet on the inside. Oh, fuck. I wasn't even trying to make that sound. It just actually happened. I turned into a cartoon dog eating out of the trash. God, God, God. Throw it in the milkshake. Now we can't talk about the queen of Latin pop without bringing up the princess of EDM. I don't even know what that means. Electronic dick maker. Elephant dog mating. Escalators don't move. We just think they move. Am I okay? Whatever. Little Debbie's. Now I love Little Debbie snack cakes, obviously because there is one more. I'll be honest, guys, these food videos are getting to me. Um, it is getting harder and harder to uh, not eat everything afterward. And by harder, I mean I just eat everything afterward and I'm not even trying. But like, it's okay because little Debbie loves me and that's all I need, right? Look at her face though, she's like, um, yeah, totally Shane. <laughs> I love you no matter what size you are. Now let's go see what Marky Plyer's doing because I want to suck your dick. Ugh, Wendy, bitches ain't loyal. All right, one of those. I don't know why I bought these. These are like special K pastry pops or something. I felt like it was healthy. Healthy. Like we need one healthy treat. And by one, I mean I'm going to take this, I'm gonna break it in half, break it in half again, take a nibble, spit it out, and tell that bitch to go fuck herself. We don't need you! Time for a cupcake! These are tiny little baby cupcakes and I love them so much because you can eat like one of them and feel satisfied. And then you just, you know, put it back in the cabinet and you go, I don't need another one, I'm good. And then you say, I love lying to myself. <laughs> and then 10 cupcakes later, you're me. All right, so let's squish one of those in there. Ooh, that was cute. I love the way it did that. You see that? Yeah. Now these are just frosted cookies that are red velvet flavored. They're kind of hard. Oh, they are soft on the inside. So it's the opposite of me. Like I'm soft on the outside, very hard on the inside. Like the outside is a Twinkie, the inside is a Warther's original. I'm gonna break your teeth. In the blender. This blender is getting very full. <laughs> this might be the most full blender I've ever seen. But we're gonna keep on going. All right, so now we are going to add what everybody has been waiting for, the cream cheese frosting. Oh my God, I love cream cheese frosting so fucking much. Oh, let's take a little bite. 
the acoustics in here are great. Oh my God. I don't know why it's so good. Cause like the thought of cheese mixed with my dessert makes me sick. But for some reason, when you mix cheese with whatever the fuck is in here, kills it. Like Pitbull alone, not feeling it. Pitbull and Kesha, it's going down. Why are all my references to the music? I'll switch it up. My next reference will be my fat childhood. No, I already do that too much. Movies, I already do that too much. Hillary Duff, I've already done that twice. Raven, it's been a while since I've mentioned her. This actually looks like her. <laughs> this looks like something she'd wear in the view for sure. All right, here we go, big old clump. Oh, and finally we have to add the liquid, which is chocolate milk. Now they didn't have red velvet chocolate milk, which by the way, Ralph's get on that. But this should work just fine. We are going to pour all of that in here. Oh my God. Oh, fuck. Do you see it seeping down the fucking sides? Oh my God. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. It's going down. Have I had this on my nose the whole time? <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't give a fuck. Let's do this. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. You got this, girl. She needs a little shake. <sighs> All right. Try this again. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This is looking real gross. <laughs> but it's okay. We're just going to keep blending and hope it fixes. I just realized my red velvet milkshake is being made in a red blender. Fucking killing it. All right, I think it's done. Oh, look at that. Oh, fuck. Okay, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, 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 okay. So first, I am going to line the cup with some chocolate. Cause like, she fancy, ain't she? Okay, yeah, 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 fuck yeah, fuck yeah. You see that, you see that? Then I'm just going to pour. Oh, God. Oh, fuck, this might be the prettiest, most like consistent, smooth, beautiful one I've made so far. Okay, on top, I was gonna do whipped cream, but then I was like, you know what? Let's just put a whole piece of cake on there. We're gonna put Monday Night on top. Monday Night on top. That'll be a great song for Beyonce. Beyonce, I've referenced you four times in this video today. That's enough for you to follow me, right? Oh my God. Oh, fuck. She's bleeding. All right, she's bleeding, but it's okay, it's okay. Ugh, oh my God. Okay guys, look. <laughs> that fucking wizardry. Oh my God. Okay, let's do this. All right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Monday on top, Monday on top. Ooh, we got my Monday on top now. Beyonce, don't steal that. Rihanna, you can have that. This is very, very good in a different way than it usually is. Usually the milkshakes are extremely sweet to a point where like, honestly, if anybody tried to drink them, they die. This one tastes like something you could actually get at a restaurant. Like, I think I just made the Cheesecake Factory's next signature dish. It's like sweet, it's like crunchy, it's like smooth. You can taste the cream cheese, you can taste the frosting, you can taste the fucking red, oh fuck. Oh, it's so good. Oh, and then that cake on top, just imagine what's gonna happen. Like, you know, at the end of the milkshake, you're kind of depressed, you're like, well, the milkshake's gone, huh? Guess I'll just sit on the couch and watch Wendy Williams. Not anymore, bitch. Because when that milkshake's gone, you got that piece of cake left. And Wendy's gonna be like, how you doing? And you're gonna be like, real good, Wendy. I'm still doing real good. <sighs> oh, real good. Hope you guys enjoyed me making this insane milkshake. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I make new videos every single day. And let me know down in the comments what kind of milkshake I should make next. And I will see you, little red velvets, tomorrow. Bye. Theory goes that the Illuminati, the people in charge of everything, sometimes have to wipe out certain celebrities for whatever reason. Maybe they don't need them anymore. Maybe they're about to speak out and they want to get rid of them. Honestly, I don't know the reasons. I don't question the Illuminati.